In this video, we're going to take a look at fans in Death Valley and explore how they form, and then travel back to Gale Crater and explore the relationship between the fan and the landing site as well. So we'll begin with a flight into Death Valley. We've outlined it in white the boundaries of six alluvial fans that we fly into and see outlined, four facing us and two at our feet. The ones facing us are steeper and come out of a steep canyon. Note the fan shape, the lateral boundary spread like a fan that we use to cool ourselves. Now we fly into the headwaters of one canyon and see how a channel spills out of that canyon and the sediment and water that comes rushing out travels to the left and travels to the right, depositing as it does so, shifting, 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 sediment depositing, the river moving over, depositing, the river moving over. Now we're crossing to the other fan that was at our feet, and now we're going to settle down and look back at the two fans, the one, the steep one toward us, the gentle one at our feet. This is Gale Crater, and we're flying in toward the Curiosity landing site. On the image, you'll see a red lines delineating the boundary of an alluvial fan, and the blue delineates uh, fossil channels. In the foreground now, you see a canyon that's some 18 kilometers long, 30 meters deep, 600 meters wide. That sediment was eroded and deposited into a fan-shaped deposit by a series of channels. Here we count about 24 separate fossil channels that played a role in building the fan that we're flying over. In the horizon you see the X that marks the position of the Curiosity rover. This fan was built by erosion then of sediment in the canyon wall that was brought out and spread across the crater floor. This is now looking from Curiosity back to the fan and you can see that it would be about a two to four mile hike or three to six kilometer walk from the nearest channel to where the Curiosity rover is sitting. Looking at the entire system then, we see that it's a watershed. And water has cut a deep canyon, spread sediment across the crater wall, and then deposited sediment perhaps as far as the Curiosity rover itself, where we've now recognized water transported gravel. 